Hello everybody, my name is Stock Reaver and welcome back to Game Dev Tycoon. I've had some issues with uh, my recording software and this episode was lost in the cloud or wherever it went. And I mean, it sucks, but at least I still had the safe game, so we are picking off where we left off in our previous episode and we'll try to recreate what I did earlier. But we might actually get something really different, and it was doing, we're do, we were doing okay, not the greatest, so we might even do better. But uh, we left off with uh, Sky Captain of today and not tomorrow, and we actually got four people better, and they got some uh, salary increases. Uh, special training available, and we can do more research. And let's quickly see, we want to fill our last position. But we also want to get some people uh, trained up. So first, uh, no, we have to look at everyone's steps. Okay, the week shouldn't be progressing while in pause menu. What, whatever, it, it can happen. So the reviews for Sky Captain came in, and eight, eight is good. Teasing me with all the tens. I mean so mean but nine still good informed gamer thank you for the nine another eight and i believe the last one will be another eight at least that this is the same score i got for the last time so the scores are set so but now we might make different games that would be different now um now we definitely need to train our good friend emily here more tech and design because she will be our engine specialist so she will she will still need some design more mick does mick need anything mick doesn't need anything he can actually already train uh, into artificial intelligence which is what we want for him but we won't do that just yet we'll just look a bit further we'll, we'll go medium booth um charles charles we wanted to get gameplay which he can already do so charles is fine for now we'll do speed training for charles uh, warden warden yeah we we were thinking we still we have Charles his gameplay Emily's engine we don't need story or dialogues and Mac will be AI so we need level design graphic and sound now level design and graphic can be done by warden and I think level design can also be done by myself and at the same time, Arthur will be... Uh, well, we can see it with Arthur, but Arthur will be the one without a specialty. He will basically be on the, the other three. So he might still get some uh, research and game design. I mean, more bubbles is good. So what we want is someone in the game demo range, because we need either... We need quite high design and tech together. I'll just spend one million looking for a new person. We got a really good one uh, on our last attempt, but again, we lost it. So we need someone with 540 design and 360 tech, preferably. But we could train Warden up to that easily as well. So in the meantime, we'll just uh, we, we will research some more topics. I want to finish uh, this all off, so I'll do that with uh, last few people. Oh, but we could also have done 3D graphics version 5. See, I'm already deviating from what I did before. So, that's that's nothing I can do about it. But hey, now it's a different one. We'll try to make the same games though. So, that will be fun. And we've reached 250,000 fans, which is good. And now Mick needs... Nah, many need to go on vacation now. Suzanne, you're level 2. Florence, you're level 3. Aiden level 3 and Beverly Beverly oh she's only so slow wow but she does have the design we need and is quite close with the technology to be our sound designer yeah we, we had like we had a legendary person the last time but we're gonna try it with Beverly we'll just have to train immensely in speed for her for a while and Sky Captain of today was it sold 500,000 copies, so yay us! Now we will have people go on vacation in the meantime as well. 
I'll keep researching topics for now. Post-apocalyptic, that will be some cool stuff. Okay, let's see. We have Call of Duty still in our uh, booth, but that was a while ago. Let's see, 485,000 people. That's quite good. We made it into the top 100 at spot 97. Okay, Emily, I think. Ah, here, this is what I was waiting for. And we're going to make a game on the Mbox 360 next. So until it's released, we'll be doing mostly research related stuff. So Emily will be sent on vacation. And who is this? Beverly, right? Beverly, you, you need to train your speed. We really need you up to speed. <laughs> and Charles, Charles, you were already quite good. You you can actually get what you what we need you to get. So, but we do need him to become a design specialist so we can actually open up our R&D. And so, well, in the meantime, let's just keep researching some topics. I mean, Wild West, that would be a fun action game to make. But the first thing we're going to make once the 360 releases will be a sequel. Let's see, keep making new topics. Uh, Emily, Emily, I want you to train. I need you to train more in tech and game design. Also speed, you're also quite slow. Just like Beverly, you're both so slow. But okay, um, my vocabulary. It'll be fine. Okay, Charles needs to finish his uh, research before we can actually send him on vacation as well. So I'm done with... Oh wait, I'm still working myself in with Beverly, of course. Uh, one, I can do one more research of Vampire. Okay. And let's do some... Uh, Quickly some contract work while we wait for stuff to come out. And just just to, it, we might be able to keep uh, Beverly. Ooh, this looks like a good uh, payout. So we'll, we'll keep uh, getting some research from contract work and keep training Beverly in speed. And yeah. As well as Emily. We'll first pull Emily towards speed training. We, well, we really need to speed at least at 300 to be very good. And find contract work. Yeah, just cheap one. It'll be done in like a week. And it's done. It, it's so fast, but this keeps some money coming in. And make sure that uh, until we actually make a new game, we don't really lose that much money on waiting for the 360 here it's out and we're still waiting on now we're waiting on emily to finish sky captain is off the market i think it's sold almost the same as it did in the previous uh, one which is quite interesting but oh it's the last contract we can do we'll finish this in no time and now we just wait for emily to finish her uh, training and then we can actually start making our sequel. And the sequel will be Man Bat 2 Revengeance. Okay, it will be a large game though this time. It is a superhero action game for the Mbox 360. And of course our uh, V7 engine should be fine for it. Uh, 3D graphics version 4, of course. It'll be a little bit different now because we have a different pe person working in the office than on our first uh, try. So, um, yeah, Beverly will be for sound. So she just needs to get more tech for that to actually train up in it. But Emily is indeed uh, engine. Charles will be in charge of gameplay. And... I'll be level design or warden and the other one will be uh, graphics of us too. And Arthur will basically do what the others are not doing. And this is a way to transition eventually into making triple A games. And that's what we really want to go for. And 
wow, technology is raking in. I'm really not sure how much difference there will be between Beverly and the one person we hired before, but it doesn't matter really. So, this still looks good. I mean, we still want to make good management to get some... It, it, it leaves a better game if people can... Wow, 14. Okay, we'll quickly send Charles on vacation while we're working here before we get to the next part. Um, product placement. Dave Johnson here, CEO of Departure Science. Some of our test subjects were recently exposed to some of your games and surprisingly, they didn't go totally insane. Okay, just for that line, we're not going to place your product in our games. No sorry. They seemed to quite enjoy the experience in adver- In fact, anyway, I have some products that need advertising and could do with some product placement. My market boys tell me that making you this offer is a bad idea, but that's exactly why I want it. I'll pay you 200k. No, that's that's not enough for me to do this. Wow, huge bubbles going into tech, and that's what we wanted to see. And we are almost at 500 technology. That's pretty good. And one more coffee for Beverly. Really? Just can we just finish this stage? Thank you. So here it is. Is um, Arthur will be taken off sound, put on world design. And Beverly, you'll be in charge of sound. And this uh, way we will finish up uh, Warden. Oh, I probably forgot to change Arthur with Warden. But for this game it doesn't matter. Just need to remember it for the next one. That we don't do that again and keep everyone to their own specialty, sort of. And Ninvento has... Oh, today Ninvento has announced their bid in the next generation console market by announcing the new Instead of trying to compete with Micronoft and Vani on hardware strength and graphical power, Ninvento has decided to deliver a truly unique gaming experience. The new features a controller with a built-in motion sensor, which allows players to stand front of their TV and use the controller as a counterpart to virtual objects, such as a tennis racket. First play testers were seen with the huge grins on their faces. It seems to be a lot of fun. Well, one would assume. I mean, I haven't really played any Wii or new, whatever, ever, so I don't really know. It, it's okay, I guess, but it's not for me. We might be able to polish this up to, uh, to 700 tech, and in the meantime, let's... Uh, yeah, I think the person we had instead of Beverly was so much better in speed. But then again, we'll just have to keep these girls up to speed on everything. That will be our main focus, to train these in the arts of speed because we have a need for speed. Can we polish it up to 700? And remove that final bug and we can release it. Man Bat 2 Revengeance. What is, oh, it's a superheroes action game. We have good management. We went level up in dialogues and Emily is also level up. Of course, Emily gets a raise because of that. And we could research for body language. Okay, since it costs... Oh, we've... I keep forgetting to mark my games. Ah, so, Man Bat 2. What will it... Ooh, a 9. Almost perfect. Thank you, Star Games. Another 9. 9s are good. Is it a 9? Uh, an 8. 8 is okay. 8 is very good. And another 8. So, we have... An 8.5. Okay, we'll... Uh, we can research one topic with myself. Oh, I want to make a time travel game. And okay, we can actually train Beverly some more. Beverly, a product management course, keep your speed up. And the same for uh, Emily. Emily is getting her speed quite well. Wow, she did almost, she did more than 50, I think, in that one training. And the other guys, you, you find some contract work to do in the meantime, which gives us some more research points to actually research another topic. And Sandstorm Studios, that's us, has recently released a sequel, which you did. And critics praised that uh, Man of the Two, The Revengeance, had a different engine than its previous one. And we have some more money. Keep finding contract work, guys. Alien search. This will give us a lot of money. 351k. We do need a lot of tech and design for it. And 500k sold of Man Bat 2, which is good. Keeps us afloat, for sure. 
Now we just, we really need to put some uh, into this contract. Oh, another memorable game by Sandstorm Studios has been released. Simply iconic level designs from start to finish. Only a game with unicorns, rainbows, pirates and ninjas could possibly be better. Thank you, Julian. And at the same time, we're at G3. We might even see a bump in uh, sales from Manbat 2 because of G3. Because of uh, the increased hype suddenly. 550,000 people, which makes us number 88. Okay. And we need to send uh, Beverly to uh, on vacation while we uh, finish it after she finishes her training. And competitors have been uttering, uh, have been very jealous of us. <laughs> Thank you, 351k. And I believe that these guys will soon want to go on vacation too. I'm not sure, they, they want to go quite fast, so. Um, train Emily, yeah, you're good for now on speed, so you will need more programming to actually get up to the level I need you to be. And let's do one more contract to work. Uh, let's see. This one. Well, we might do some more. I mean, here are the vacation goers. We'll uh, keep doing contract work while we wait for uh, everyone to want to go on vacation. And the new has been released. And here's our design points. Thank you. Just what we wanted. Okay, now four people want to go on vacation, but again, we need still need to wait for uh, Emily to finish her uh, res training. But we can put Beverly back on training, so we'll go back and forth. And I will send uh, everyone else on vacation so that we can start thinking about our new game. So again, I want to make a time travel game. It's going to be a time travel action game on the 360 again, because the 360, wow, 2.2 million of Man Bat 2, that's actually pretty damn good. Okay, everyone is back. Um, yeah, Charles will send him on vacation whenever he needs to. Okay, we can start with the game, it will be a large game, it will be a time travel an action game. And it, we will call it Mad Man in a Box. Make it mature. No, no, E for everyone. I mean, it's definitely E for everyone. But yeah, this looks good. Let's uh, get development started. Ooh, plus 12 on uh, Beverly there. So she's training well. well. We'll train them more after this. So Arthur is indeed on story and quests. Oh yeah, that's why it's at 74% because of this amount. Okay. I mean, the people will, will most likely stay on what they're doing for the rest of the game now. Because that's how we're specializing. Wow, 30 million from Manbat 2. That's something I really like. And with our coming research, we will make Charles a design specialist and make sure our R&D department goes up. That's what we're doing with uh, our proceeds from this game. We're making Warden. See, here's where we need to put Arthur. So, yes, so let's uh, get going. And Arthur is still contributing to the game as a whole, so that's not bad at all. Wow. It's like you, you see the, it going in artificial intelligence, you're just waiting for more tech to get over 500, but then it takes so long that it actually almost gets to 500. <laughs> anyway, today Vani has announced a successor to the massively successful Play System 2. The new console is predictably called Play System 3 and comes with an impressive hardware configuration making it the most powerful console in gaming history. The console also doubles as a player for Blu-ray, which Vani hopes will be the successor to the DVD format. All this power comes with a hefty price tag, also making the Play System 2 the most expensive console ever. We will see how consumers will react to this given the lower cost alternatives. However, Considering the massive success of the Play System 2, Vani can be hopeful. And it's expected to ship uh, by the end of the next year, or sometime next year at least. And we can finish this game up. We'll make the time travel action game for everyone called Mad Man in a Box. Wow, bubbles of 14 tech, I love seeing those. 
I wonder how what biggest bubbles, uh, how much they are to get them. And we're over 700. That's good. Remove bugs, polish the game. Then we're going to make Charles our design specialist. Train Beverly and Emily some more. There's a clear trend towards adventure games. And of course we're not doing an adventure game. So you have to be a design specialist to open our R&D department. And let's uh, polish this game for a little bit while we market it. Just small, just get some extra hype in there. No! Ooh. I thought it just added a bug, but it removed a late minute bug. But it's new topic, new combo, great combo and good management. I like that. Level 9 for me, level 6 for Arthur. And Charles can go on a holiday after this. And as we said, train Beverly and... Emily. Emily, I need you to get some game design. You need 180 on her game design. And the first reviews came in for Madman in a Box. Ooh, I hate it when the game is teasing me with those low numbers. And six is not bad. It's quirky but good. Definitely. Thank you, Informed Gamer. I, it's, I mean, it's just a six, but quirky but good still sounds pretty, pretty funny. So let's see. I'll do one more topic. Uh, just. We need to finish up these topics regardless, so... Uh, research, topic, music... We'll actually have exactly enough to train uh, Beverly and Emily one more time, but that's not what we're going to do. We're going to make another game when Evan Charles is back from vacation. And Cyberpunk, that means that we have developed every single uh, topic in the game. And yes, we're going to open the R&D department. And it's ready. To visit the lab, simply click the screen and drag to the left or use the arrow keys on the keyboard. Alternatively, you can also click on the little R&D lab information card in the bottom right of the screen. Pretty important. And new research is available at the R&D lab. Okay, Charles, send on vacation. And in the meantime, let's have a look at the R&D lab. Welcome to our very own research and development lab. At the moment, it is empty, but we have a number of skilled people eager to start working. You don't have to hire them individually. Instead, you can simply decide on the budget for the R&D lab. The higher the budget, the more researchers will work and the higher the research progress will be. Running your own R&D lab can be very expensive, so be careful that you don't overspend. I suggest you start with smaller projects and don't be afraid to cut down the budget if necessary. If there is no active project, researchers will generate research points slowly, which you can use to train your main staff and unlock more game options. To start a project, simply click the screen. Yeah, that's... And they want me to install solar panels, which I will do. And it's a wise decision. Start project, internet opportunities. We could choose internet opportunities or hardware. And it basically means what tech you want to go to first. And, ooh, 500k for Madman in the Box. Okay, we'll put it at 420k a month. That should be fine. Uh, medium booth, definitely. Oh! In what some call a bizarre show of arrogance, Vani representatives have been trash-talking Microsoft's successful Mbox 360 while praising their own upcoming PlayStation 3 in the lead-up to their launch later this month. <gasps> oh my, what would they say? Asked about the unusually high price of the PlayStation 3, a high-ranking company official replied, People will work more hours to buy one. We want people to feel that they want it more than anything else. We are not sure that players will really want it so badly, as so far no major game titles have been announced for the PlayStation 3. Uh, it might be a while before developers are able to take full advantage of the powerful new console. Now everyone's here, we're going to develop a sequel. Because while well, Madman in the Box was not that great a success, Nuclear Winter, our fantasy strategy game with a 7. Mm, no. We're going to look for the game called Trump the Competitor and we'll make the Trumpinator. It's going to be a large business strategy game. The no. There we go. It's a strategy game, so we want it on PC. Here we go on the Mango Jungle, highest graphics we have. 
And let's start this bad boy up. Okay, yeah, all of this is still looking good. We simply need to make, uh, to research into a better uh, engine next. So, after this game, we're researching V5 3D. And we've recently installed solar panels and people are happy about it. Which is good. Ooh, 11, tag 5, tag, wow, so many bubbles. It's so bubbly. And G3, Trumpinator, free hype. Oh yeah, do not forget to market this game. Do not forget to market this game. I think I should not forget to market this game. 657,000 people place 73 this time. Okay, and we're going to market the shit out of the Trumpinator. Even though we seem to get a bit too much design for a strategy game. And now is the time to market it and we're going balls to the wall with this game. While you only need one specialist to start running a lab, you can train more than one. Additional specialists decrease the overall running cost of your lab. Okay, and... Oh! One million sold of Madman in a box. One million Doctor Who fans in the world. And uh, there are probably more than that, but... Now let's see how much tech we get this time from artificial intelligence. Wow, did we really get... That's... This marker here is the G3 bump. It really upped the hype. Oh, we're over 500. So that's good. And yeah, it's, it's still looking good with uh, the sliders. We don't really have to look at those. So it's simply... Uh, ah, now everyone needs to go on a vacation. Just please finish uh, the bubbles really quickly. So we can actually send people on vacation. Now... Okay, I will send Beverly right now. And we'll still, uh, we'll get it up a bit more with, uh, ooh, wow, 290 hype. Oh, we need to sell this game quickly before the hype dies down. Of course, we also need to sell it without any bugs in it, so. There we go, give us more tech and more design. Okay, uh, finish it up. And we're going to send more people on vacation. Two new records, and records are always good. Uh, four people increase their salary. Wow, so many expensive people. And special training available. Okay, vacation for you, vacation for you, vacation for you, vacation for you. Ooh, and the first reviews came in. Ooh, a nine. Thank you, Star Games. Wow, that's pretty good. And a 10. 10 out of 10. Another 10. What? And, a, and an 8. That's an interesting choice. But yeah, it's good. It's still good. So, um, programming for Beverly. And I myself will research 3D graphics version 5. Now, let's see, the Trumpinator, ooh, almost 500k in one month, which is good. Uh, oh, right, uh, rest of you people, go do some uh, contract work in the meantime. Uh, game backdrops, time tracking, logo animation, usability studies, ah, movies, it pays the most, 204k, so, I mean, it's not a lot of work, whoa, that's a big bump there. And today Grapple, a company well known for their role in the early PC industry, and more recently for their portable music player, Grapod. Grapod. Wow, they couldn't think of something easier to pronounce for this. But they have announced that they will really soon release a powerful new mobile phone. The phone has a touch screen and sports a surprisingly powerful CPU. The integrated graphics chipset should also allow the phone to run games and since the phone comes with its own application delivery platform it could become a great device for mobile games. The Grophone the Grophone, Grophone will be available early next year. Now we'll finish up this contract, Beverly will be done with her training and oh outstanding visual design in the Trumpinator. And this is where we'll uh, pause our new video and we just finished version 5 graphics so next time we'll look into what are we gonna do 
create our new custom engine. I don't know. Create. We're definitely going to make more games because we do like money. So, it was a different episode than the one I had recorded previously. I actually have more money now, but I had Mick already trained as our AI specialist. So, yeah, it it's, might have to do with hiring Beverly instead of the guy we had before, but that's in the past. So, I hope you enjoyed this uh, episode of Game Dev Tycoon. And it will, uh, yeah, it will continue soon again, I promise. I will not abandon this just because I'm going to play Civilization a ton. So, stay tuned for more. And uh, see you later.